Monica Bellucci as a romantic dramatic body type by Dwayne Lassen System. A short introduction on Lassen System. The typology of Dwayne Lassen is an improved version of David Kibbe's theory. David proposed the system of body types back in the 80s, whose theory was based on the relationship of the lines of appearance of the male, yin, sharp, and the female, yin, round, and soft. However, the system appeared a little bit limited, as we cannot have only 13 types of beauty in the whole world. And this is where Lassen system comes in handy. Is it all just about Monica Bellucci dresses and gorgeous outfits that make everyone astonished by her? Why does everyone like her so much? This type of beauties intuitively understand their natural lines and follow them in the design of their appearance. Let's take a look at the style of a romantic dramatic type using the example of Monica Bellucci. The representatives of the romantic dramatic type are always attractive hourglass figures. The presence of a waist and always predominating female lines in the body can be in a higher quantity. The nature of the lines of the body and facial features is mixed, combining softer and more delicate with sharp, complex and large-scale elements, showing the flow from the charcoal features to some roundness in the image is the best way to emphasize the uniqueness of this type. Bellucci body type. What is it? For a mixed dominant in the body and the face for a romantic dramatic type, the entire range of styles is available from purely dramatic through romantic dramatic to purely romantic trajectory. However, the most valuable thing with a mixed dominant will be to use the unity of a romantic and a dramatic type. By mixing the characteristics of these two types in the performance of each of the image elements – clothing, haircut, makeup, accessories – to combine the characteristics of romantic and dramatic, for example, in a piece of clothing, we can start moving either from the dramatic feminine silhouette, leaving the sculpted shape and line, and adding soft roundness, curves, drapes from a romantic side. Otherwise, you can go from a romantic type with its light soft line and add fabrics that hold the shape more clearly, which will allow you to redraw the sketches of ideally romantic clothes in a more romantic dramatic shape. We can also combine the style elements in their pure form belonging only to romantic or only dramatic. For example, hairstyle, romantic, makeup dramatic, jewelry, romantic, but the jacket, dramatic, and so on. As you can observe in the first variant, she wears a Dolce & Gabbana flower printed dress which emphasizes her silhouette while the length elongates her body structure. In the second picture with the pink dress, we can see an unmistakable romantic vibe, but it still holds the shape at the waist creating an hourglass body type. Though. In the other variant, we can see the shape of the princess-like loose dress that will suit only petite types of girls. This length shortens her height and makes her hips way oversized, which we are trying to avoid when constructing the perfect wardrobe, of course. What will not suit well to the romantic dramatic type is wearing clothes of natural or gammon body types. Natural shapelessness in terms of cut and minimalism and also details are not for the romantic dramatic body type. The romantic dramatic cannot be too close to simplicity, conciseness and symmetry. They are not down to earthy kind of people like Jennifer Aniston. Without additional decor, accents or details, this type loses its royalty. As it is visible in the first two variants, where Monica is dressed in denim, the gloss of her femininity is lost. It doesn't make her look good or even okay. She is a woman of pure luxury. She shines in sophisticated, well-decorated and well-tailored clothes. Gammon's short length will look out of place in the romantic-dramatic type. 
like an attempt by an attractive adult woman to seem like a little teenage girl, which is not acceptable for someone with an outstanding, sophisticated appearance like Monica's. Fabrics and materials for a romantic dramatic body type with a mixed dominant line in the face and body. The romantic dramatic can use both dramatic types of fabrics, which is dense, shape holding, shiny, having an evening texture with a glossy sheen and weight, flowing or transparent romantic fabrics such as an expensive looking silk. As evident in the first two pictures, the plain cotton or school-like print doesn't just look odd but also appears as pieces to a different puzzle as it has already been stated before, Monica Bellucci is a woman of posh-looking fabrics. Textured fabrics, an abundance of oversized and loose knitwear as a rough surface of materials make the appearance of a romantic dramatic type heavier emphasize the age and show puffiness of the face. To save the situation, if you need to use a knitted or plain cotton fabric, uh, which doesn't go well with you, a vibrant print that overlaps the texture might help here. Knitwear for a romantic dramatic type should be thin and ideally with a glossy sheen, not made with the effect of silky threads. In the first picture, Monica is wearing a beret with a plain fabric t-shirt that doesn't coincide with her type. A silk scarf saves all the situation here, but as it is visible, it's not enough even here. In the second picture, the stylist chose the right jacket with uh, a lush sheen for her, as in the last view, the, last, uh, the suit is made, but with the richness of shiny silky lapels. Instead of caps, hats, brace for the romantic dramatic type, tight hats with a sharp edge are more suitable and silk scarves are preferred instead of just any scarves. When choosing coats, you should prefer things that have a sleek, shiny surface as well. Jewelry, print and accessories for a romantic dramatic body type. There is a difference in scale between romantic and dramatic features. Therefore, watercolor prints and details, delicate and small in size characteristic of pure romantics, become more active, large-scale, spectacular and deliberate. And the abstraction and geometry of the dramatic type are smoothly softened by the romantic when moving from the dramatic style towards the romantic dramatic type. Let's be honest here, Monica is extravagant, but her jewelry requires her to be elegant and not as significant. The first two variants coincide with her romantic side. But the last crocodile necklace, seemingly a Chopard necklace, is just a clear no. It's too big and her beauty is not uh, emphasized, but also looks she looks lost because the chain overshines her beauty, which is not acceptable for her. Even when expensive couture jewelry needs to be elegant, which also means to be very reserved in size. Haircut and hairstyles for a romantic dramatic body type. Romantic dramatic. A type is personifying femininity and sexuality in the traditional sense. Therefore, the image of unisex is opposite to the nature of the romantic dramatic type of a woman. Well, try to guess here where you would say yes and you would say no. And you would be right, the disheveled type of hairstyle is not for her, it can go a little loose, but that would rather be Victoria's Secret loose waves than a Parisienne kind of a look. She's Italian, she needs more lux in her hair as well. Ratched, playful and charcoal bangs or such face framing and haircuts of, for a boy, leave it for the gammon types, this is not for her. The ideal solution for a romantic dramatic type would be a length at least to the shoulders, a hairstyle that includes both components of the type, curls and being static, firmly holding glossy stacked and curled strings, the effect of a more structured wave. The romantic feature is a component of the type itself. 
the tucks, draperies, ruffles, bows, lace, flowers, lightness of the fabrics. The emphatically feminine styles will fit perfectly when mixed together with a flow of drama. That is what makes a princess the queen. It was not without the reason that the romantic dramatic Monica Bellucci played the roles of empress and queens. Uh, thank you so much for staying here with me and I hope this information was useful for you. And if you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe, put a like and let me know what you think in the comments down below. And see you in the next episode.